hello and welcome to this channel again we have this very nice exponential equation to solve today make sure you're relaxed and enjoy the tutorial to the end to solve this we'll first express the equation especially the left hand side as x to the ninth power plus x to the nine plus one power plus x raised to power 9 plus 2 and the denominator becomes x raised to power 8 plus x raised to power 8 plus 2 that's for 10 and x raised to power 8 plus 4 everything is equal to 1 over 5 and this is further written as x to the ninth power plus x raised to power 9 times x therefore x raised to power 9 plus 1 plus x raised to power 9 times x raised to power 2 and that over x raised to power 8 plus x raised to power 8 times x raised to power 2 plus x raised to power 8 times x raised to power 4 and that's equal to 1 over 5 so from the numerator we factor x to the power of 9 x raised to power 9 and we'll be left with 1 plus x plus x to the power of 2 while in the denominator it is x to the 8th power that we factor out to leave us with 1 plus x raised to power 2 plus x raised to power 4 and that's equal to 1 over 5 then x to the power of 8 can take 8 out of this to leave us with just x such that the equation becomes x times 1 plus x plus x squared in parentheses over 1 plus x squared plus x to the power of 4 and that's equal to 1 over 5 at this point we try to manipulate the denominator in order to be able to factor out what we have in the parentheses in the numerator and this is done by writing this as numerator still remaining x times 1 plus x plus x squared why the denominator is written as 1 plus x squared plus x to the power of 4 then we'll be adding x squared and equally subtracting x squared and that's equal to 1 over 5 so that we now have x times 1 plus x plus x squared and in the denominator it is going to be 1 plus when we add x squared and x squared that gives 2x squared so 1 plus 2x squared then plus x to the power of 4 minus x squared and that's equal to 1 over 5 grouping this together we know that 1 is the square of 1 the last term x to the power of 4 is the square of x squared and the middle term is the product of 2 or twice the product of 1 and x squared so that can factor as a perfect square which is 1 plus x squared all squared we have a tutorial on how to factor perfect squares the link is in the comment box below The equation therefore becomes x times 1 plus x plus x squared that's in parentheses and the denominator we have 1 plus 2x squared plus x to the power of 4 factoring out as 1 plus x squared all squared as shown earlier then minus x squared and that's equal to 1 over 5 
and still on the denominator, we can apply the principle of difference of two squares. Uh, that is, when we have a squared minus b squared, it is going to factor as a plus b in parentheses times a minus b in parentheses. We're going to have x times 1 plus x plus x squared over 1 plus x squared plus x times 1 plus x squared minus x and that's equal to 1 over 5. 1 plus x plus x squared cancel out, leaving us with x over 1 plus x squared minus x equals to 1 over 5. And by applying the cross product property, we have 1 multiplying 1 plus x squared minus x, and that equals to 5 multiplying x, leaving us with 1 plus x squared minus x equals to 5x where we now subtract 5 from both sides giving us 1 plus x squared minus x minus 5x equals to 0 rearranging this we have x squared minus 6x that's negative x minus 5x and plus 1 equals to 0 we have successfully reduced the entire exponential equation into a quadratic equation. And a look at this shows that we cannot solve it by factoring, so we use the quadratic formula. And in using the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. B is the coefficient of x, which is negative 6. And C is the, the constant term, which is 1. Therefore, x is going to be minus negative 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 6 squared minus 4 times A, which is 1, times C, which is also 1 over 2a and that's 2 times 1. That gives x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 4 over 2, which is 6 plus or minus square root of 32 over 2, and that is 6 plus or minus 32 can be expressed as 16 times 2 and that over 2 and that becomes x equals to 6 plus or minus the square root of 16 is 4 so that gives 4 root 2 over 2 and let us factor 2 from the numerator that gives 2 times 3 plus or minus 2 root 2 over 2 where the 2 cancel out leaving us with 3 plus or minus 2 root 2. We can therefore conclude that the solution to the equation gives the conjugate x equals to 3 minus 2 root 2 or x equals to 3 plus 2 root 2. Let us know your thoughts about this tutorial in the comment section. Give it a like and share it. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell so that you get time-to-time -time updates from our YouTube channel. So we see you again in our next video or one of the videos already on the channel. We say thank you and bye.